ฮัลโหลสวัสดีค่ะทุกคนยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่ English Fit and Firm ค่ะเย้เย้วันนี้นะคะจะต้องขอบคุณแขกรับเชิญคนนี้ค่ะที่อุตสาห์บินไกลจากที่อุตสาห์บินไกลจากกรุงเทพมาให้สัมภาษณ์เราที่นี่เลยนะคะตอนนี้เราอยู่กันที่ชาโมนีประเทศฝรั่งเศสค่ะแต่ก่อนอื่นขอให้แขกรับเชิญผู้นี้นะคะแนะนําตัวก่อนจะดีกว่านะคะเพราะว่าหน้าตายังไม่ค่อยคุ้นเคยกันเลยค่ะ Hello สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ My name is Andre I'm German I'm living in Bangkok I'm here in Chamonix for the UTMB race Ah I thought you were here for the interview Uh that too คุณ Andre บอกว่ามาที่นี่เพื่อมางานวิ่ง What was the name again Uh the name is uh, UTMB huh? It's here It's on your shirt Oh yes It's on right, mine right. as well UTMB <laughs> What does uh, it stand for uh, Ultra Trail Mont Blanc The Mont Blanc that's the uh, mountain range here And the race goes well. The traditional course is about 170 kilometers. Uh, uh, sorry, did I misheard it? <laughs> 170 kilometers, 170 kilometers. That's correct. That's correct. งานแข่งขันอะไรงานแน่ใจว่าหลายๆท่านอาจจะยังไม่เคยได้ยินชื่องานวิ่งงานนี้แต่จริงๆแล้วมันเป็นงานวิ่ง But it's a very big race event. It's a very. It's the biggest uh, ultra race event in the world. Ultra race means um, basically everything. Beyond 42 kilometers, 42 kilometers I being see. the normal marathon distance, and this race has been around for like uh, a bit over 15 years, okay. and uh, it has grown. It is uh, very, very popular all over the mm. world for people. And actually, this year there are many participants from Thailand oh, once yeah. more. So every year, oh. yes, I would say the number of Thai participants is growing. คนไทยมาวิ่งที่นี่ด้วยนะคือบินมาจากประเทศไทยเพื่อที่จะมาวิ่งที่เมืองของยูครับ Oh, Tony, is still going on. Chai, chai. UTMB the, race. The UTMB course is right now going on as we I talk. Uh, personally, I did the TDS course, which is a different course. They have added different um, courses over the years. So my race started on Wednesday and I finished on Thursday. I see. It was only 145 kilometers. Maybe some of the audience uh, are still wondering what trail means. เทรลมันต่างจากคือการวิ่งปกติมันวิ่งก็คือวิ่งแบบทางตรงใช่ไหม but what trail what is trail oh the trail means like everything um, except for road basically uh, except for road or track in the stadium so mm. when you run on a nature trail uh, sandy path rocky path in the mountains well, that's basically a trail I see. some races are deserts to say More adventurous as well. And oh yes, you're harder you're... as well. Can I say that? Yes, I would say so. Um, yes, you have, especially here in the high mountains, Ka. climbs and descents, and especially descents, downhills, mm. are pretty hard. Uh, they're hard on the knees, and uh, you need some skills to uh, tackle a race like that, and uh, some good training, of course. This race sounds really interesting. Is it for anybody who wants to run and then can just go apply for the race and run? Actually, no. Um, this UTMB here, you need qualification, which is a point system. I'm not going to go any further into that, and it's changing and evolving over the years. It can yes. run a lot too. Okay, but can the, I just go? Um, you would have to run a couple of other races um, and gather or collect 15 points. Ka. Uh, okay, and maybe even this then, not for me. Even <laughs> then, um, it was not a guaranteed entry. You were just qualified. There's still a draw. ก็คือหนึ่งจะต้องมีพอยต์ซึ่งพอยต์นั้นได้มาจากการวิ่งในหลายๆบิ๊กเรสในประเทศไทยหรือที่ไหนก็ตามที่เขาแจกคะแนนแจกแต้มแล้วสเต็ปที่2อยู่จะต้องมีลักด้วยใช่ไหมต้องมีโชคด้วยที่จะถูกลอตเตอรี่หมายอะไรประมาณนี้ถูกเอ่อเรียกว่าอะไรนะ get drawn right เข้าใจแล้ว are you a runner professional no no I'm not a professional runner Okay, but you fly a long way. I mean, there are many races in Thailand. Many races in Thailand. Exactly. In fact, yeah, the number of races in Thailand has grown over the years, and there are very, very good races in Thailand. I mainly race in Thailand because that's where I'm based. But I combine this with a visit to Germany to see family and friends. I see. Which ones are your favorite? I mean, the race in Thailand. I don't have a single favorite, but I like the Colombia trail. I did that yes, as well. Yes, exactly. And you even did 50k. Yeah, this, 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 50 k. Yeah, this, 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 50 k. Okay, PTC. Okay, PTC. Go by Pakistan. 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 Pakist
expensive, of course. The fee is like 200 30 to 250 euro about. That's how much in Thailand. Yeah. I'm very bad at numbers. How much is it? 700 baht to me. That's about 7,000 baht, yeah. 7,000 baht for to go wing for a long time. My race was the TDS. I ran 145 kilometers. 145 kilometers. Yeah, and the price was cheaper too. Yeah, it's 7,000 baht. Yeah, I mean, the different races have different prices and different, okay. uh, different challenges. Uh, some races are shorter and of course faster, others are more technical. Then you have the uh, around Mont Blanc route and then you have a, another race um, which lasts over several days, the right. PTL, but that's a different story. Is it easier than trail in Thailand in terms of weather? Because here it's so pleasant. Yes, Look at the sky. It should be really easier? It, it's, it's a very good point. Um, because of the elevation altitude, I wouldn't say it's necessarily easier. Personally, for me, even though I'm living in Thailand, uh, the heat and humidity are always a great challenge for me. And I feel better, like physically, say, in cooler weather. Not, not all cold, but um, cool. Ka. And I had perfect conditions this Ka. year. Temperature wise, a pleasure to run, but of course, it was a very long run, a very technical one. What is the hardest part about running in general? The hardest general. part? Yes. You want to get out of the wing? There is no no one answer for that. Um, it depends on the runner. I mean, some people are good at climbing, others are good at descending. And when it comes to these very long distances, 100 kilometers and over, it's uh, it becomes a mental game. You need to be strong mentally. Mental Not lose the heart. Not and I'm not talking about the physical heart. Uh, you should not lose that either. But more like <laughs> passion for the race. Otherwise, it can throw you out, even though you're you're physically still fine. There are always points in the race where you don't like things anymore, and you think like, oh, why why I'm doing this anyway? But um, you have to get around that. You have to get over that. Like, like, jump over that hurdle or that wall and keep going. And that's, that's all mental. That's when it comes to the mental preparation, training, experience. I have a couple of friends who don't run at all. Mm -hmm. And they ask me, what's the point of running? On Sunday, you could be in bed comfortably at home or you could be walking in a mall. Why would you go out there in a the mountain I, to run and it, it's suffering? I, 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 go, suffer I go to malls occasionally and uh, I also like to sleep in. I'm not necessarily a morning type, so my training usually is in the afternoon or evening. But the question is, Kun Andre, you said that Kun Andre is speaking Thai. Why do you choose to go to the wing? Every day, we have to work for the night, like the night, right? You're tired, right? You're not going to stay at home, you're not going to stay at home, you're not going to stay at home, you're not going to stay at home. Wing is not going to stay at home, you're not going to stay at home. No, it can never be my plan. You could choose that too, you know? But why do you choose to go to the wing? Wing, train, run, run. I, yeah. I, I think uh, with with everything in life you need a good balance and um, mm. there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with being lazy <laughs> and also sometimes losing your motivation mm. and not doing much physically or, or not doing much learning or whatever you need to do. Nothing's wrong with that, okay. Exactly. And then later <laughs> catching back up and <laughs> keeping <laughs> keeping a healthy balance. So for me it's like uh Mina Fatu noise. So it, it's not all about um running, only running or only reading, only learning or watching video games, playing video games. Um, it's important to keep a balance. Do a couple of things. I mean and sometimes just pull the plug like I'm doing right now, saying, Okay, I've been ambitious, I've been running, I've done sports and now um, it's time to just Exactly, like today I had three beers in Chamonix. Pull the plug. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, English uh, catchphrase, uh, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. I mean, if you, if you just work and don't play, don't play. Um, it will just make you go gaga one day. Because we have lots of great things to share here, but for now, we have to eat You like to say some short ending line? Um, well, thanks for listening. 
if there are any English learning runners out there, uh, remember keep the balance, <laughs> pull the plug occasionally, and uh, enjoy having a good time. The hot intro, gone. He just finished. That's why Andre really spoke five languages. That's five languages. You can really speak really well. We'll be able to watch it in the video. Who is interested? We'll be able to share in the comments the different aspects of languages. What are they like? 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 What are they like?